Mesmo eu. PSI. That's got to go, it's the wrong gas and that's no good, you can't do that, you can't cap these off, it don't work, you've got to run a equalising line in. Okay, I've got this bolted down and we're putting it up the opposite way round. Got the suction line bent up, uh, that end's going to poke through here and go into there. So we do away with that flare connection, uh, wherever that's gone. Uh, do away with that because they can leak. And that should just come down here, come across, through and drop into the suction valve if we can get it to fit. Okay, uh, I've got that brazed in and I've just put some clips, I've tapped a 4mm thread in this uh, stainless steel sheet, so it's only like a mil or two thick. i uh, put some tape around there, a couple of wraps of electrical tape, just to make sure it holds it nice and tight. So, and then that's, it's not going to move much at all, but it shouldn't rub or anything. Um, so we've got to do the liquid line now, we're just going to run that and cable tie it. And we've got to put a dryer in somewhere. And I don't know whether to put it in here. In some ways it wouldn't be too bad in there. We'll stick it down here somewhere. Okay, got the dryer brazed in. Oh yeah, it is, sorry, I just thought, fuck it, that better be, better be the right way, and it is. <laughs> <clears throat> that needs tightening up. Um, got the liquid line then down. Need to know the cable tie right there. Um, because this might vibrate a bit, I'm making a little loop. Just take the vibration out of the liquid line, because that's going to go on the receiver. So I just use that map gas bottle as a good sized, um, good diameter to wrap the uh, quarter inch round. <coughs> uh, when you let the gas out of the nitrogen out, at least to braise them, always crack a port open on the side, don't just open the stem out first because that will blow a load of oil out the pipe and it will contaminate your, uh, where you're going to be braising. I mean these, these look like they're bone dry. Some of the silvery coloured ones have oil on them, so you have to degrease them first. Um, good thing with this is because it's copper plated, we can just use normal 5% or 15% silver rods without having to use flux. I mean, you can silver solder them, but you know, you just make it work for yourself. I just put them back on but not not tight so they can vent. And I just crack that open so you don't cook the uh, seat. Right, run that cable down, just poked it for a bit of uh, 20 mil conduit, just for you know somewhere to put it really, so it's tidy. Uh, that's wired into there. Um, that's on pressure test. It's dropped one and a half psi and then levelled out. So I think I started the timer too soon because either probably this tank's warmer than what the bottle was, or the other way round. This is quite hot here today. Well, hot for us anyway. 88, 31, that's in the shade. That's 
still on back for a while. Um, I've got 400 with a pump there, I don't know what to climb up to. Um, come down really quick. Got to sort the wiring out on that. Someone's been dicking about with that. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, and then we'll go through this and make sure it looks semi-okay. I've got enough water in there to run it. I might go and turn the tap off. Got up to about 1160, 1100, somewhere around that, 1200. Um, which is probably the best vacuum this thing's ever had in it. Right, we'll leave that running again, get that sorted out, um, get some gas in it and see what it does. Let's start it up. It's like glass, looks like it's got a load of mineral oil on the inside of it. That might, might eventually move. Got about 800 grams in there so far. I thought we'd start up a bit undercharged because that water's at 20 degrees. Um, so it's not working too hard. Okay, it's been running for an hour or so. It's took about, what do we reckon, five degrees out of the water. So it's got another, it's about 16 degrees now. So it's probably got another four, four hours, three hours before it's going to start making ice. And then it probably needs to run six, 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 so six or seven hours though, maybe. Probably overnight, really. They should have ice by the morning. They're just trying it outside for now, and then if it works, they're going to move it into the dairy. There we go. That's it with the cover. I put a couple of bolts in there. Um, to hold this spacing rail on, because that was just floating about. It just fell off when you undid it. Um, I'm going to leave the cover off while it's making ice. Uh, so far, so good. 